This is the jumbo monster known as Gomera. He looks pretty goofy, but that is what makes him so cute. Where did he come from? What is his purpose here? Hello everyone. My name is Shoji Shotomo, and I am a monster biologist. I'd like to take this opportunity to explain Gomera's anatomy to you. Jumbo Monster Gomera is about 65 meters tall. He weighs approximately 25,000 metric tons. So where did he come from, and why is he here? We haven't found answers to these questions yet, but according to our sources, Gomera was born on Monsterland, an island where many other monsters live. Rumor has it that he came to the big city in order to train to become a legendary giant monster like Godzilla and Gamera. Now let's examine the inside of Gomera's body using an image scanned by a gigantic remote MRI system. Gomera Eye. At first glance, Gomera appears to have very fierce eyes, but we have discovered that he intentionally furrows his brows in order to scare people. Once he relaxes, he actually looks pretty harmless. His vision appears to be unexceptional, his eyeballs completely normal. Gomera Brain. Compared to his body size, Gomera's brain is substantially small. Because there is so much empty space inside his cranium, his brain tends to bounce around inside his skull. As a result, Gomera is an airhead, and makes the same mistakes over and over again. However, results of our research indicate that his brain is slowly getting bigger. It seems that Gomera is trying hard to improve himself. Gomera Horn Gomera's horn absorbs energy from the air and stores it inside his body, enabling him to fire his Gomera ray. It is also used as a sensor, in a similar way to a bug's antenna, to detect immediate danger. Unfortunately, when Gomera does detect something, he has no idea what to do about it. Gomera Fang Mighty fangs are hidden behind Gomera's attractively plump lips, but he has never brushed them, and therefore his breath smells terrible. A number of witnesses have reported seeing crows faint because of his breath. Gomera Arm His arm contains immense muscle power and strong bone structure. Gomera can destroy anything with it. Its power level is equivalent to that of a thousand gorillas, and it can easily swat an army helicopter. Gomera Tail his tail is short, but can easily destroy an army tank. Its power level is equal to that of Ichiro's 600 home run hits. Gomera Poo Hole Gomera's poops and gas are accumulated and eliminated from here. Of course, Gomera usually does this in private, but when he lets rip in public, it can cause severe, catastrophic disaster. Uh, well, uh, I will discuss this another time. Gomera Stomach this giant stomach stores all kinds of food in massive quantities. Here it is quickly digested and the energy transferred to the energy pouch. This reserved energy is then used for the Gomera ray. Gomera Energy Pouch The energy transferred from Gomera's stomach is accumulated in here, and this energy is the source of the Gomera ray. Although Gomera is supposed to have power over this ray, he sometimes loses control and blasts things by accident. Ah, uh, well, um, all right, if you insist. Gomera's is very important. If it gets attacked, Gomera's ray may be reflexively unleashed, so extreme caution is required to avoid hitting his when you attack him. Jumbo Monster Gomera Although, as monster biologists, we continue our research on Gomera, we, at this point, do not consider him to be dangerous. Though still unconfirmed, we have received reports that Gomera can shrink his body down to human size on certain days of the week. If this is true, then there is a chance that we can capture him. If you have any information about Gomera, please contact the Gomera Research Institute immediately. Your cooperation will be greatly appreciated.